This presentation will discuss the retirement types and formulas for members of the Public Employees Retirement System and Teachers Pension and Annuity Fund. This is only for Tier 1 members. That means that you were enrolled in the pension prior to July 1st of 2007. As with all of our presentations, this is simply meant to be a general overview. It is not meant to replace any information that's available on our website or any other publications. If you have more questions about retirement eligibility and, and formulas, please look at fact sheet number four. The basic retirement formula for members of Tier 1 is as follows. Years and months of service credit divided by 55 times the final average salary equals the gross annual pension. Service credit will include all service, whether you worked it or whether you purchased it. For most people, the final average salary will be the last 36 months of service credit. For state employees, that will be the last 78 pay periods. It also can be the highest three fiscal years if the last 36 months were not the highest. If this is the case, you will have to indicate that on your retirement application. Keep in mind that the formula shows you only the gross annual pension. On this slide, we show you the difference between what deductions will come out of your pension check versus what deductions will come out of your paycheck. As you can see, there are a lot fewer deductions coming out of your pension check than out of your paycheck. For Tier 1 members, the first type of retirement is a service retirement. The eligibility for a service retirement under Tier 1 is that you have attained the age of 60. If you have attained the age of 60, you are automatically vested and eligible for a retirement benefit. You do not have to have any minimum number of years of service. For this service retirement, the, the formula is still years and months of service credit divided by 55 times the final average salary. The next type of retirement is an early retirement. Early simply means that you are retiring before the regular retirement eligibility age of 60. In order to retire under age 60 and collect your pension benefit, you must have at least 25 years of service. You may collect at any age. However, if you are under age 55, there, there will be a permanent reduction. That reduction is 3% per year or a quarter of 1% per month from the gross annual pension. These are calculated on a monthly basis and will be deducted from the gross annual pension. There is also a deferred retirement benefit under Tier 1. The eligibility for this is that you have at least 10 years of service credit, therefore making you vested. You are under age 60 and you are leaving the Public Employees Retirement System or Teachers Pension and Annuity Fund in New Jersey. You can vest your pension and you can collect a pension benefit the first of the month after you turn age 60. If you qualify as a military veteran, you may be eligible for an enhanced retirement benefit. Please see fact sheet number 17 to, to find out what you need to do to be qualified as a veteran under PERS or TPAF. If you are qualified and you are at least age 55 and you have at least 25 years of pension credit or you are at least age 60 and have at least 20 years of pension credit, you are eligible for a pension benefit equal to 54.5% of your highest consecutive 12 months of salary. In addition, if you are at least age 55 and have 35 or more years of service credit, you would be eligible for a pension benefit equal to your years of service credit divided by 55 times your highest consecutive 12 months of salary. If you are qualified as a veteran, we will automatically calculate the highest benefit for which you are eligible. There are also disability retirement benefits, but because these benefits are very different from the regular retirement benefits, they are covered in a separate presentation which is entitled Applying for Disability Retirement.
If you have additional questions about the types of retirements and the formulas, please see fact sheet number four on our website. Thank you for listening.